Blink twice if you need help. Wear pink in your next post and hold a bottle of water if you need help. Free Justin. Why were believers rushing to Justin's social media to lend a helping hand? I think he's lost and is probably searching for some sort of stability. Recent shady behavior between Hailey Bieber and Selena Gomez has the internet furious. I don't do mean girl energy. This is not the vibe. Fans are taking a second look at all the times Justin appeared unfriendly to Hailey. Babe. I just, I can't, don't touch me right now. And an even closer look at Haley's surprising past. Like how many times do things have to be a coincidence before we call it crazy? This time, the internet discovered something new. There needs to be a new word invented for what Haley Baldwin has done. Everyone's making a joke that it was her 10 year plan. Were Jelena fans really onto something after all this time? All I'm saying is, if the person that I'm married to still had a picture up on their Instagram with their longtime ex, with the caption, love the way you look at me, the divorce papers would be in the mail within the hour. Why are we back to Team Jelena versus Team Jaylee? You think you won, but you got the man, but honey, you'll always be a fan. Is it possible that a normal amount of backlash has developed into a full-scale witch hunt? Before we get into the story, picture this. You're on your new phone looking for the best free-to-play mobile game. Something with amazing graphics while still action-packed with an exciting blend of strategy and role-playing. What could it be? That's right, Raid Shadow Legends, who is also sponsoring today's video. The fourth anniversary of Raid happened last month, and to celebrate, we'll share with you our top four favorite champions that will bring the house down at both the dinner party and on the battlefield. Tatura Rhymehide, the main event at any party. He's got your back by veiling your team and increasing everyone's defense. Cleo Terex, the Feather Fiesta go-getter, is quite talented by taking advantage of Hex debuffs. Enemies disturbing your party? No worries, Mithrala Lifebane can petrify them. And the handsome Rhodos will end them with a massive amount of damage. What's a party without some duels anyway? Well, we got good news for you. Raid has introduced Arena PvP, allowing you to ban champions before duking it out with other real-time players. You'll earn new rewards, including artifact sets, fragments for a legendary Void Champion, and live arena crests that unlock powerful bonuses at the Great Hall. With all of this exciting stuff and more coming to Raid, if you haven't started playing yet, then what are you waiting for? Use my link in the description or scan my QR code to get insane bonuses. We're talking about epic champion Kellen the Shrike and other useful things. Energy refills, magic potions, XP brews. Once you're in and crushing your enemies, come find me under the name Spill T. And if you're fast enough, you can join my clan. So just hit my link in the description and we'll see you on the battlefield. The year may be 2023, but you would think audiences were lining up to see crazy rich Asians, fighting over tickets to Beychella, or celebrating Meghan Markle's royal wedding the way the internet seems to have collectively traveled back in time to 2018. At least, when it comes to the sudden relevance of a long-squashed love triangle. That's right, it's been almost five years since Justin Bieber's seven-year on-again, off-again relationship with Selena Gomez officially came to a close as his other makeup breakup relationship with Hailey Baldwin turned into an engagement. So what force was great enough to cause this long-buried drama between the pop star's ex and his now wife to resurface? It all started because of a TikTok video, but wait, before we go into the video, there were photos that triggered this response. Photos of Selena in a bikini. While most people were supportive, a few were vocal about shaming her. And this brings us back to the TikTok video. It seemed a few familiar faces, Hailey Bieber, Kendall Jenner, and Justine Skye, may have made the most hurtful indirect comment. I'm not saying she deserved it, but I'm saying God's timing is always right. And why did people think it was directed at Selena? Well, Haley, who uploaded the video, made one big mistake. She deleted the TikTok, making what appeared harmless seem intentional. And people had their suspicions. No one uses this sound without a reason. This sound hasn't trended since like last year, deaf intentional. Haley attempted to diffuse the situation by adding to the conversation. Did a random TikTok sound for fun. It's not directed at anyone. Well, her words were in vain. The internet had branded the trio Mean Girls. And that's one label that can't easily be washed off. Isn't Haley the one that like begs Selena to tell off her fans for bullying her? I mean, Haley's a b right? 
Selena caught wind of this TikTok calling Haley out and responded, It's okay, I don't let these things get me down. Be nice to everyone. But that same month, more drama was brewing. After Selena poked fun at herself by showcasing her eyebrow lamination gone wrong, This is me. I accidentally laminated my brows too much. My name is Selena Gomez. See, it doesn't even sound sexy. The Mean Girl backlash was back again, this time from another Jenner sister. And yes, Haley was involved too. Why is it that three hours after Selena Gomez posted those videos on TikTok, would Kylie Jenner post, this was an accident? And ironically, she put the text on her freaking eyebrows. And again, posted a screenshot of her and Hailey Bieber and them just showing their eyebrows. Like clockwork, Kylie attempted to shut down the developing narrative, commenting, this is reaching. No shade towards Selena ever, and I didn't see her eyebrow posts. You guys are making something out of nothing. This is silly. Yet, amongst the slew of replies doubting Kylie's sincerity, Selena stuck up for her. However, even with Selena giving the benefit of the doubt, the recent social media post was about to be challenged when a now-deleted clip from Haley's 2017 episode, hosting Drop the Mic, resurfaced on TikTok. Full of the meanest lyrics about a celebrity since Taylor Swift's last album. <laughs> <laughs> Haley's gagging motion that followed the Taylor Swift name drop didn't sit right with Selena, Taylor's longtime bestie. Selena commented on the TikTok, So sorry, my best friend is and continues to be one of the best in the game. But just as quickly as the songstress entered the ring, she was ready to exit. Informing her fans on a TikTok live, I'm gonna be taking a second from social media because it's, this is a little silly. And I'm 30, I'm too old for this, so. And as the drama unfolded, Selena regained her title as the most followed woman on Instagram, while Haley and former title holder Kylie Jenner saw their popularity plummet in real time, as both lost 1 million followers and counting. But this recent drama had the public curious. What happened all those years back that turned Selena and Haley from strangers to rivals? Sure, their shared connection to Justin Bieber meant the women would be weighed against each other. But as an encyclopedia's worth of information collected online over the years suggests, actions from both Selena and Haley only fueled comparisons. For Haley's part, well, it seemed the model had the habit of, intentionally or otherwise, copying Selena. From her cooking series that started two years after Selena and Chef debuted on HBO Max in 2020. So I'm back in my kitchen to get schooled by the best chefs. They're at home, I'm at home, and now we're going to make a meal together apart. Yes, we actually are in my real kitchen, in my real house. This is not a set. To paraphrasing Selena's words. Somebody asked me a while ago, what's the one thing you wish people knew about you? And I said I wanted it to be my heart. And I just always had this constant battle where I was saying, I wish people just knew my heart. I realized that everybody else seemed to be narrating my life for me. Yes. So why don't I put something out that is my side of the story? I realized that I was able to tell my story about who I was from my own mouth instead of people from the outside being able to tell my story for me. But if these lengths Haley reportedly took to imitate Selena seemed extreme, a more permanent move to follow in the singer's footsteps should be sounding alarm bells. Selena was first spotted with the initial G tattooed behind her ear on June 4th, 2015, an ode to her little sister Gracie. Then, just 12 days later, Haley revealed her own eerily similar G tattoo, which mimics Selena's down to the placement and the cursive lettering. In a now-deleted Instagram post, Haley said her tattoo was inspired by Georgia, the daughter of her church pastor who was born with a rare brain disorder. The next month, Justin also had a G tatted for Georgia, although his tribute didn't have the same placement or lettering as Haley and Selena's now matching tattoos. But if imitation is a sincere form of flattery, had Selena also honored Haley? After all, if the model was obsessed with Selena because she wore a similar pink turtleneck, was Selena equally as captivated with Haley because less than a month after Haley was spotted heading into the Waldorf Astoria in a white slip dress and sneakers, Selena wore a similar ensemble to perform to the AMAs? In fact, some instances where Haley was accused of copying Selena's outfits, it was actually Haley who appeared in the looks first. But it wasn't just accusations of parroting Selena that had the internet believing Haley's marriage to Justin was less of a whirlwind romance 
and more of a strategic pursuit that rivaled those devised by serial stalker Joe Goldberg on Netflix's You. See, Haley wasn't always a public figure who attended premieres, walked red carpets, and guided Vogue through her multi-step beauty routine. No, growing up, Haley was simply the daughter of a famous father, Stephen Baldwin, and her interests weren't any different from other teenage girls when it came to hobbies, fashion, or crushes. Haley even took part in standing the most swoon-worthy celebrity couple of the time amongst teens. Jelena. On her since-deleted Twitter account, a 15-year-old Haley tweeted supportive messages about the pair, including, I'm for sure 100% Team Jelena. I don't care what anyone says, but Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez together is the definition of a teenage dream. Haley described Selena as beyond flawless, and Jelena as the perfect relationship, while she herself was forever alone. However, any admiration Haley had for Selena seemed to vanish after the blonde became involved with Justin. A TikTok user recalled a shady incident from August 2018 when Selena posted a series of photos on Instagram paired with captions that expressed her love for her friends. All talking about how much she loves her friends. These are her best friends in the whole world, right? Okay, that's the theme. And the next day, the newly engaged Haley made a post that seemed all too coincidental. And what is her caption? Absolute best friend. Moments like this convinced fans that Haley wasn't helplessly drawn into drama by crazed Jelena stands, but actively inserted herself in the feud. Like, Selena was just living her life, and what does this woman do? However, there was another side of the internet that believed it wasn't Haley who was hung up on Justin's ex, but Selena who couldn't let go. A Twitter thread from a user called Bieber Defense Attorney provided alleged evidence to back this narrative up. According to the account, Selena was known to hijack Jaylee's milestones to promote her work. They alleged Selena liked old Jelena posts during Rare's release month and released Lose You to Love Me two weeks after Justin's wedding to Haley, despite writing the song a year prior. Yet it seemed Team Jaylee was also prone to exaggeration, considering Selena's album was released two months before the singer liked those photos, and Lose You to Love Me was released over three weeks after the wedding ceremony. Still, the timing was suspicious. And then there were those moments that appeared less PR motivated and more, well, pointed. The thread listed examples that included Selena posting a sad selfie the same day Haley posted her wedding pictures, uploading a video that appeared to mock the way Haley applied skincare, and lyrics from an unreleased song off Rare that people believe are directed at Justin. Baby, long as you're not with me, you'll always be alone. And Jaylee supporters believed Selena's past patterns of behavior were on full display in the present as her comments on videos about Haley only fanned the flames. Haley, I'm gonna need for you to stand up or something. It's halftime and they whooping you. They've been whooping you for like two weeks now. It's time to fight back, but you gotta remember that you're fighting against somebody with a victim complex, okay? So the only way for you to win is to out-victim her. But as the internet continued to dig through the love triangle's messy history, it wasn't Selena who was coming across as calculated. Paparazzi video from 2012 captured Justin taking photos with fans outside his hotel. But hold on a second, was that the future Mrs. Bieber among the hordes of fangirls? It was indeed. And if this clip paired with the testimonial of one internet user holds any weight, it seemed Haley wasn't just a casual believer. She was a total stan. And Dana would know. After all, she was one too. I ran a Bieber fan account with 200,000 followers. And while those days of the fandom have come and gone, Dana had some gossip she was eager to share with current and past believers alike, and it involved Justin's recent engagement. I don't even know what to call it because it's so beyond iconic that there needs to be a new word invented for what Hailey Baldwin has done. But what was the YouTuber getting at? Well, it seemed as the daughter of the lesser-known Baldwin brother, Haley benefited from both proximity to fame and the privacy of being unknown. This privilege allegedly allowed her to exist between two worlds, stardom and fandom. She'd connected to Dana through the latter, and the two built a virtual friendship over Harry Styles, Austin Mahone, and, of course, Justin Bieber. Soon, Dana even became Haley's go-to source on all things Biebs. Here you're gonna see where I wrote Satai Fifth App. The, the DM that was right above that that she sent to me is gone because she unsent it right away, but she said, 
What hotel is Justin staying at? Kylie and I want to know. Since at the time, Haley and Kylie were staying at the London, Justin had been known to stay at the London, but he was staying at the Satai. And this wasn't just DMs. Dana claimed she'd also chatted with Haley over text, video call, and in person. We would give her that info because she would say she would either stay at that hotel or she would eat at that hotel or do whatever at that hotel so she could bump into him, okay? And Mrs. Bieber even made an appearance in a fan-inspired video. We remade the Call Me Maybe video. A trend famously started by a video featuring Justin and Selena. And now, Haley was living every Belieber's Wattpad fantasy, crossing the barrier from fan to fiance. 2012, she asked me what Justin Bieber's hotel is. 2018, there's a ring on her finger. I can't even get a boy to hang out with me during the day. But was Haley's marriage truly the happily ever after she had envisioned? Let's just say, when girls daydream about their future husband, he typically hasn't dated their best friend. That's right, before Haley won Justin's heart, Kendall Jenner reportedly had a piece of it. From 2014 to 2015, the two were the subject of numerous dating rumors. And while Kendall denied any involvement with the pop star, in 2015, Justin admitted to Billboard that they dated by stating it was never serious with the reality star. And perhaps Justin's assessment was correct. After all, his marriage to Haley never seemed to come between her friendship with Kendall. Does Justin think I'm cool? <laughs> of course. Yeah, to lie. However, some fans sensed lingering tension in a clip from an Instagram Live conversation between the couple and Kendall. Haley's reaction seemed to betray a dissatisfaction with the model's response. Did you see this coming? See what coming? You too? Um, honestly... <laughs> no, I was super like, I, I didn't know, you know what I mean? Like, I think I yeah. hoped. And the internet believed there were other signs that the Bieber's relationship wasn't as solid as it appeared. Sure, Justin sounded like a man in love. Sometimes I still get nervous with her in the room for some reason. She just makes me nervous because I love her so much and I want her to like like my stuff. But were his nerves butterflies or warning signals? The internet had picked up on a distance between the star and Haley, from Justin's unwillingness to participate in planning what was supposed to be the biggest day of their lives. He is not very involved, to be honest. I think he trusts my vision. I just basically showed up. To fueling the conspiracy that their marriage was not a faded love story. Stephen Baldwin is her father. Stephen Baldwin, who's had money issues. So, you know, this is... A a little cash grab, I guess. But an engagement that had been orchestrated since they were first introduced by Haley's father on the Today Show. I think it was an arranged marriage, I'm pretty sure. I'm not... <laughs> Looking back now, I'm like, it was definitely an arranged marriage. Like, they set this whole thing up. And there were times Justin appeared not to care about Haley at all, as footage captured the star shutting a car door on the blonde, refusing to take photos with her, and shrugging off her affection. Babe. I just, I can't, don't touch me right now. Like, not right now, but I'm just saying. Um, I thought you were being serious. No, 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 just in general. And while some of Justin's comments could be played off as jokes. If you weren't so hot, I would have got rid of you a long time ago. This is so awkward. I feel so awkward. This feels so, like, super awkward. Does this look like a playground to you? This is a studio workplace, and you're disrupting me. That is not cool. Domestic tiffs between the two had some fans convinced they were deeply mismatched. Maybe I wasn't trying! I beat you, accept it! They were asking me, because it's my Lyme disease. It's not your Lyme disease. Are you, are no, you worried but, about my no. Lyme disease? Well, I was helped, you know, in every freaking day, been doctor with you for months, so... Yeah, but sometimes they you asked give... if I was scared about the Lyme disease, because I was the one that has it. Right, but I, I didn't say that. I just was saying that you were taking all the necessary... Listen to me, woman. Just kidding. Yeah, that's the attitude. But were curated compilations and blurry footage evidence of a toxic relationship or a cultural obsession with analyzing the private lives of the rich and famous? YouTuber and dating coach Anthony Resinello has weighed in on the dynamics between the couple in multiple videos. Justin kind of like is passive aggressive to Haley and it seems like Haley is that type of personality where she is almost so, so, so sweet that she just 
chooses not to react to it. To the relationship expert, the public portrayal of Justin and Haley as an artist and muse, forever bonded through faith and entirely devoted to each other, failed to fully camouflage the flaws in their marriage. I have the sickest chick in the game. It almost looks like he is like forcing how much he's interested in her. And while some supposed evidence of their toxic relationship, the YouTuber believed was taken out of context. They both have huge smiles on their faces. They're laughing. They're having fun together. Other moments were revealing. You said to your wife, if you weren't so pretty, I would have got rid of you a long time ago. Dude. And then there was an allegation Selena made in a 2020 interview with NPR that was perhaps more telling than any live stream compilation. And I'm not being disrespectful. I do feel I was a victim to certain... and you mean I mean emotional? Yes. And I think that it's something that I, I had to find a way to understand it as an adult. Now we have literally Selena Gomez, not just writing, you know, a sad song about a past relationship, but literally in an interview saying, I was emotionally ab However, Anthony acknowledged these were only small glimpses into Jaylee's relationship, and it was impossible to know what work they put into their marriage behind the scenes. I am 100% sure they have some sort of therapy for their relationship going on. And even Haley has acknowledged her marriage is no fairy tale. I'm not going to sit here and lie and say it's all a magical fantasy. It's always going to be hard. It's a choice. You don't feel it every single day. You don't wake up every day saying, I'm absolutely so in love and you are perfect. That's not what being married is, the model told Vogue in 2019. And Justin had come to the same realization. It's a journey. I remember when I first got married, I had a little bit of an emotional breakdown because I thought marriage was going to fix all of my problems and it didn't. The star told Apple Music's Ebro Darden in 2022, their relationship already faced trials, living together for the first time, complications Justin's Lyme disease, and the pressure of marriage under the limelight had all tested the strength of their vows. But was it possible that what Haley said she admired most about Justin, his heart for other people, presented the couple's biggest hurdle yet? After all, once upon a time, Justin's heart belonged to someone else. I have a crush on Selena Gomez. No one, no one heard that. That declaration from a young Bieber came two years before the singer and Selena started dating. And when they were finally in a relationship, Justin exhibited a devotion that fans believed was missing in his relationship with Haley. When and where was your first kiss with each other? Man. Do you remember? Do you remember? Yeah. So you tell him. But of course, Selena was more than just an ex. She was your first real love, First right? real love, yeah. And their breakup was more than a split. How hard was it to get uh, over that? It was really tough. I don't know if I'm still over it yet. Do you think you'll ever get back together? Is that a hope for you? Do you think um, it could happen? Maybe. I mean, we have a lot of history together, so mm -hmm. I'm sure, I'm, I mean, it possibly could happen. Was this just the difference between puppy love and an adult relationship? Or had Justin really missed out on the love of his life? Yeah, I wrote a song, actually, it didn't make the album, but it was, uh, it was called If I Would Have Met You in Five Years. It's just like, how true is that? How many people go through life and end up meeting someone and just it's just feels so right but it's just the wrong time well if the saying's accurate true love never dies and some jelena fans believed it hasn't justin and selena were known to convey their emotions about each other through lyrics during their on again off again relationship and in 2021 one track from justin's album purpose had fans convinced the married musician was writing about his ex again as lyrics from justin's ghost echoed the title of selena's track ghost of you and possibly the song's meaning as well for me it represents uh, a person that was in my life that meant a lot to me shelly pikin wrote the song because she knew what i was going through and it's a very beautiful song there's a lot of people who, are, who have lost people from other things and um, just lose people uh, might not be a death, but have lost people um, that were in their life for a season. Um, and now that person isn't. So it's just like that can be feel like a loss, almost like you grieving that person. It was open for speculation how Justin related to the song. And boy, did the internet love to speculate. For Jelena fans, the smallest actions were hints of Justin's everlasting love for his former flame. As a married man, Justin could reveal his lingering feelings for his ex, but a yet-to-be-removed Instagram post here, a flash of his Selena tattoo there, spoke volumes, unless someone got in the way. 
And you guessed it, Haley's hand is covering it perfectly. And if once is a coincidence, what's twice? What do you know? He's putting the Selena tattoo on her boob and she's covering it with her hand. And a third time after that. Justin is not only showing the Selena tattoo, but he's holding up his sleeve to make sure that we see it. And there were other moments that seemed to confirm fan suspicions that Justin still carried a torch for Selena. There was the 2018 spotting of Justin crying after Selena was hospitalized for her mental health. Sources at the time came forward to allege that Justin would always care about Selena and was very upset over the news. And in a 2019 Instagram story from Justin about a fake news story about himself and Haley, fans couldn't help but notice he had Selena's Coachella performance in his search history. Although Justin was quick to claim this video only came up after he and Haley watched his own Coachella performance. However, he couldn't deny his enduring love for Selena, even if it didn't override his feelings for his wife. Why would I dedicate my whole life to someone in marriage to get back at my ex. Justin asked a fan on Instagram after they implied he only married Haley to make Selena jealous. I absolutely loved and love Selena. She will always hold a place in my heart, but I am head over heels in love with my wife and she is the best thing that has ever happened to me, period. But as the internet rifled through years of dirty laundry, how were the three public figures at the center of the drama handling the scrutiny? While both Justin and Haley have made an effort to not comment on the backlash, Haley's March 1st birthday post dedicated to her husband proved one fact. Ignoring the problem doesn't make it go away. With or without a reaction from Haley, Team Selena was content to camp out in the model's comment section and voice their low opinions of Justin's choice in wife. The criticism was inescapable, which meant now was as good a time as ever for Justin to cancel the remaining dates for his Justice tour, a break the singer had previously taken to focus on his health. And although the decision has left more than a few believers' dreams dashed, it's possible this was for the best, considering the chant the crowd shouted during Justin's surprise appearance at Rolling Loud. But not everyone from the Bieber camp has exercised the same restraint as Justin and Haley. In March, Vaughn Ford, a stylist who's worked with Haley, posted one strongly worded sentence on his Instagram story, I hate Selena Gomez. The bold statement was followed by a clip from the Wendy Williams show. Should she suffer? All right, clap if you think she should suffer. And when the post was removed for bullying and harassment, Vaughn doubled down. I said what I said, the stylist asserted. However, Vaughn has since gone private and removed Haley's name from the list of his clientele. As for Selena, well, the star returned from her social media hiatus, sharing her gratitude for her fans and a message. Please, please be kinder and consider others' mental health. My heart has been heavy and I only want good for everyone. All my love. Despite Selena's advice, there's been no relent in insulting trending searches or inappropriate comments. Recently, Justin's birthday photos were flooded with calls for divorce, observations that the singer looked unhappy in photos with Haley, and implications that he was purposely showing off his Selena tattoo. One user commented, We freed Britney, we can free you too, bae. Fans also noticed Justin wasn't wearing his wedding ring, a development that only fueled speculation that the marriage was on the verge of collapse. However, according to an inside source, this isn't the case. Justin knows that speaking publicly about it will only amplify the situation and bring more attention to it, so they have been supporting each other privately, the insider told ET in March. Despite recent posts showing Haley and Justin closer and Selena continuing to live life normally, this didn't stop the negativity. By March 24th, Haley reached out to Selena. Haley has been receiving threats and such hateful negativity, Selena revealed. I've always advocated for kindness and really want this all to stop. Haley also added the two had been talking about the drama for the last few weeks on how to move past the ongoing narrative between them. Haley thanked Selena for speaking up and reminded the public, things can always be taken out of context or construed differently than they were intended. We all need to be thoughtful about what we post and what we say, including myself. I believe love will always be bigger than hate. And some people felt Selena stopping the drama was long overdue. Good morning, Selena. It seems you finally woke up. Did she really think that the way she behaved on social media recently wouldn't lead to her fans to escalate it? Others were still divided on who was to blame. Selena didn't have to reply to those TikToks and instigate. She should have expected this outcome. Well, it all started with Kylie and Haley's eyebrow thing. I realize that society loves pinning two women against each other when clearly the real villain is the rat of a man who publicly humiliated Selena Gomez multiple times and is blatantly not defending or sticking up for his wife. While parts of the internet have already started to call out the backlash against Haley as unwarranted. Do you guys remember when Selena was out drinking water 
and then Haley did the exact same thing. So long as the public think Haley and Selena are secretly shading each other through social media, Team Selena and Team Haley may never end. This is the story of Haley, Justin, and Selena, the long resolved love triangle that can still set the internet ablaze. Before you go, check the link in the description for special codes to get amazing bonuses in Raid Shadow Legends.